Such a surfer, right? Well, the Electric Daisy Carnival brought hundreds of thousands of people to Central Florida. You couldn't miss the thing. The massive music <laughs> festival went by with only a handful of arrests. Despite those low arrest numbers, News 6 has learned thieves were working that crowd, swiping not dozens, but hundreds of people's cell phones. Only News 6's Eric Von Anken discovered there have been multiple arrests since then, and the thieves were likely highly organized in this case. He's live at Camping World Stadium where this all happened. So Eric, how many phones did these crooks manage to steal? I'll tell you this, Matt, we know that hundreds of people were in line here at EDC Saturday night in the lost and found line looking for their phones since then, since EDC ended, hundreds more, upwards of 300 people have been on Facebook saying that their phones were stolen from EDC. We have also discovered tonight a good bunch of those phones have now been recovered. 106 stolen phones went from the pockets and purses of unsuspecting guests at the Electric Daisy Carnival here in Orlando to Palm Beach County in South Florida. Detectives at the sheriff's office there tell me they stopped this guy and discovered the stolen phones in bags in his back seat along with stolen credit cards. 34 stolen phones turned up in this guy's backpack, Orlando police say, when they stopped him Sunday night at Camping World Stadium after guests said they'd spotted him stealing the cell phones. It's very easy to bump into someone and you not realize that your cell phone is taken. Police say organized cell phone thieves travel around the country grabbing, selling, and then shipping off the phones like they did in Osceola County last year where deputies say they intercepted this big buzzing box of hundreds of phones headed out of the country. The biggest problem detectives are having right now is IDing the phones and their owners. They say many of them are locked. They have no markings and no numbers, so they are encouraging you. If your phone was stolen from EDC, report it to the Orlando Police Department, describe it, and give your passcode. And Orlando police tonight tell me they are especially frustrated this by, frustrated by this because you, of course, have the power to protect your own phone. First of all, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but stop putting your phone in your back pocket. Move it to your front pocket. And the other thing is if you're going to carry your phone around in a big bag or a purse, add two layers of security, they say. In other words, a zipper inside a zipped bag. For now, at Camping World Stadium, Eric Von Agen getting results, new six. My daughters and I have had that talk. No phones in the back pocket. That's because of you, Eric Von Agen. Thank you very much. <laughs>